Hello, my name is Nick and this is a presentation on eyewitness memory and emotion. The question I'm addressing is, what effect does emotion have on eyewitness memory? First, let's have a look at a definition of eyewitness memory. Eyewitness memory may be described as an individual's memory for a specific event that they have witnessed. The most often involves a crime of some sort. A main argument that has developed is that emotion may enhance eyewitness memory for information central to an event while impairing memory for information peripheral to an event. This idea was first proposed by Easterbrook in his Q utilization hypothesis, which states that the more stressed an individual becomes, the more they restrict their focus on the cues in the environment, leading to improved recall for information central to an event and impaired recall for information peripheral to an event. Studies have found support for this hypothesis and suggest that when we're faced with a crime, emotion may enhance eyewitness memory for information central to the crime at the cost of impairing memory for information peripheral to the crime. However, other research suggests that emotion may also impair eyewitness memory for information central to an event. According to the phenomena of weapon focus, in the presence of a weapon, an eyewitness's attention tends to be solely focused on the weapon, at the result of less attention being paid to other information in the environment. For example, a meta-analysis by Stieblay, 1992, found that in the presence of a weapon, eyewitnesses show a significant decrease in their memory accuracy for later identifying the perpetrator holding the weapon and this effect was most evident when stress was higher. What this may mean is that in the presence of a weapon, heightened emotion may cause eyewitnesses to focus their attention on the weapon, impairing their memory for other information which is central to the crime. Studies have also found the level of arousal experienced by eyewitnesses is a significant factor in affecting eyewitness memory as arousal and emotion are interlinked states. Studies show when anxiety and arousal are high, eyewitnesses tend to show significant memory impairments in later identifying and describing a target individual from an event that they have witnessed. In contrast, the effects of emotion on eyewitness memory found in an experiment may not be the same as in a real crime. Studies which have examined eyewitness memory for real crimes tend to show that eyewitnesses have very accurate memories for the crimes. For example, a study by Yuli and Kutchell, 1986, examined the memory accuracy of a group of eyewitnesses who witnessed a real shooting incident. The study found that the eyewitnesses were very accurate in their memories for the crime and this accuracy was consistent even after five months. However, Emotion may also affect eyewitness memory for information before and after an event. Retrograde amnesia refers to an impairment in memory for information prior to some event. Antigrad amnesia refers to an impairment in memory for information following some event. Studies have found both retrograde and antigrad amnesia to occur in eyewitnesses in response to events which initiate shock. What can be concluded from these studies is that due to heightened emotion, eyewitnesses may suffer serious impairments in memory for information before and after some event. Furthermore, studies have also shown that emotion may make eyewitnesses vulnerable to incorporate misinformation into their memory for events, also known as the misinformation effect. In summary, emotion can be seen to have both negative and positive effects on eyewitness memory. Although emotion may enhance eyewitness memory for certain aspects of an event, emotion may also impair eyewitness memory for other aspects of an event. In order to reveal the true relationship between eyewitness memory and emotion, further research is needed involving real-life crimes.